Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I told you that I would show you an after uh, view of my husband's handiwork upstairs. So we're gonna go up there and check things out. Don't mind the mess. This is just a constant. Um, when you're in the middle of demos and mudding and you know. So last night he started priming. <clears throat> He's got this wall all primed. Just super high ceilings. He had to make a like a false floor with these. I don't know how he did it, but he did. And then he primed, I think, this whole hallway. So, yeah. It is getting there. I wish you I wish we had started this vlog. <laughs> years ago because just to see the before and afters <clears throat> I'll have to find some before and afters and maybe add them in here but pretty much everything looked like this <laughs> when we first started and then to go from that to finished walls is kind of a big deal so anyway I'll be back on later I've got I've got chicken in the crock pot with taco seasoning. I'm going to make some enchiladas tonight, so I'll probably film that so you guys can watch if you want. And yeah, I'll be back. So those were some pictures. Later today, I decided to use up some frosting my mom had sent over for making Valentine's Day cookies with my daughter on Sunday. So I just made the powdered sugar frosting graham cracker cookies. I don't know if any of y'all have ever had these, but my grandma made them all the time. And they were just always a treat. And so I thought I would have some for my kids for after school. And I'm just putting them together here. And my frosting's a little bit cool, so it's kind of hard to spread. But anyways, so then I just threw them in a Ziploc bag. And I kept a few to myself. And the rest they ate um, this evening. So you're watching this tonight. This was earlier today. So I finished them off after that. <laughs> this is my husband. He works so hard. And you come home and it's it's been pretty windy here today we're supposed to get a pretty big storm anyway he came home and he needed to take out the ashes from our wood stove we have a boiler stove um, I'm not exactly sure on all the technical terms of it but basically it's a boiler stove that heats water and pumps it into some kind of I don't know but there's no cozier feeling than having wood heat. It's the best. So later on, I decided I was gonna make enchiladas. I had had chicken breasts going in the crock pot all day. I got that shredded. Um, I just like to use the um, enchilada sauce. I don't know, was it Old El, Pas El, Old El Paso or whatever it's called. And I just pour a little bit into the bottom of my pans I do a big pan 9 by 13 and then a smaller pan for my stuff I follow Weight Watchers so I usually typically try to do a lower cal version so 
These are my husband's and the kids' enchiladas, the big tortillas. And over here, I'm just looking for a bowl. Story of my life, that cabinet needs cleaned, organized, it's a nightmare. So, I'm getting ready to scoop all of my chicken out and then I am going to just fill each one of these enchiladas with just a little bit of chicken and cheese and my husband's a big old eater so you gotta have you gotta have the goods <laughs> so now I have all of my chicken how you like that little wiggle there and I'm gonna fill them up Here I just grab whatever cheese we usually have. This is Colby Jack. And then I think I finish off with some cheddar. Um, it just happened to be one of those evenings where you have just a little bit left in each bag and so you've got like doubles of everything sitting around. <laughs> so then I just fold them up and then after I fold them up I put them in my pan on top of that thin, thin layer of enchilada sauce. And that's basically it. It's not any big deal. I love making these because they don't take me any time at all and they seem to uh, do well for like leftovers. My husband takes his lunch every day to work and I like to have something for lunch the next day. I get sick of having salads or just sandwiches. So eventually I put this in like a meal prep container for myself for tomorrow. But my husband's are quite large. I use the um, low carb tortillas for me and the Velveeta shreds. Those are somehow lower in points. I don't know. But I'm just pouring enchilada sauce over the top and spreading it out so that they don't get dry and crunchy on the ends. And then I'm about to load him up with cheese. I wish so badly I could eat like that. <laughs> and not pay for it, you know? But the Mission Balance Tortillas, the Carb Balance, whatever they're called, um, that's what I eat. They're not bad, they're really good actually. So it's just that I have to eat this way, otherwise <sighs> it just isn't good. So I am fixing myself, I think I end up with four maybe, I think I ate two, maybe there are four points a piece, four smart points for me, chicken's free, I don't know. Anyway, if you have questions about Weight Watchers, you can ask me, but that's not really what my channel's gonna be about, I don't think, so. <laughs> but I do like these Velveeta shreds, the shredded cheese, they seem, it's lower points value, I don't know why. So I'm just topping everything off with enchilada sauce. My husband's in and out, he's helping me, helping me with the kids homework, different stuff, and these go into a 375 degree oven, and I think I baked them for 25 minutes. And this is off subject, but if y'all seen that candle that's on my stove, it's called Apple Cider Donut from Better Homes and Gardens. It's good. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.